Okay, next we're gonna do the Fibonacci trick. Now the Fibonacci sequence sounds a little more complicated than it really is. What the Fibonacci numbers are is you take two numbers, and I usually use one digit numbers because they're sort of easier. So if you have numbers four and seven, you would add them up. Four plus seven is 11. Then you keep on taking the bottom two numbers. Seven plus 11 is 18. 11 plus 18 is 29. 18 plus 29 is 47. Now, if you have 10 numbers on the board, you could look at this really quickly and add them up immediately. I could just look at this in one second, and I know you guys know I'm pretty good at math, but all I have to do is turn around and say, this adds up to 836. Now, the way I did that was I, took, I looked at the fourth number from the bottom, or the seventh number down, or the fourth from the bottom, same thing, 76. And then I took 76 plus the 10th digit. 76 plus 7 is 83. And then I just tacked on the 1th digit, 836. You understand how it works? Okay. <laughs> now, just to make sure we sort of understand this, guys, say we had a group of 10 numbers, and say the seventh number was 59. Who could tell me what the 10 numbers would add up to if the seventh number was 59? Come on, come on, you guys could do it, you're awesome. Nikki? 649. Everyone get 649? You guys are great. When you do the Fibonacci trick, there's one thing that's a little tricky. Say if the numbers were given were eight and nine. Well, the following numbers would be eight, nine, 17, 26, 43, 69, and 112 would be the seventh number. Now, that's a three-digit number. So what you do with a three-digit number is if you have a number like 112, you add the first two digits to it. 112 plus 11 is 123, and then you tack on the one digit, the two at the end. So you, have, you would have one, two, three, two. The 10 numbers would add up to 1,232.